Right, that's enough of this. That's enough of this. <laughs> all right, here's a dumb topic that's not porn at all. So apparently, California condors are super rare. They're on the verge of extinction, and 10% of the planet's condors are fucking with one woman's house this in California. Woman. Yeah. She has no recourse. <laughs> She can't do anything. They just go to her porch, knock over the plants, destroy the furniture, and leave. Oh, and they poop everywhere. And their poop is, gets hard like concrete. And she has to have people come in with special tools to fix her, track de her trashed deck on the regular. Why is it dry like concrete? Uh, what do they eat, just bones? <laughs> I mean, they're, they're buzzards, right? We don't they're, know where they came from, but somewhere around 20 condors, 10% of the planet's population... Uh, of them just decided to show up and they really seem to take a shining to my mom's house particularly her deck and her roof they just hang <laughs> out and have fun <laughs> they spent the last week knocking over plants and law ornaments and leaving claw marks on the deck and defecating all over the roof do we need these guys? <laughs> I don't know I mean if we've survived with only 200 of them left there's no way we need them they're like a 14 foot wingspan and they're just wrecking this poor woman's deck and, and, and roof if it's that big of a bird, then we should keep it. That's pretty cool. A pack We're running of, out of really big animals. A pack of teenaged condors figured out that my mom's house is situated at a sweet spot. His mom's an animal lover and enjoys watching the condors fly overhead and would never harm them. Uh, once a day, she has to hose the condors off a roof, but they come back the next day. Um, oh, the bird droppings have a powerful stench. It's basically Ooh. like cement. I have to get someone to come in and power wash and scrub it off. But she's waiting for them to leave because she doesn't want to have to have it cleaned repeatedly. So, yeah, they're just wrecking her house. I, don't know, I thought it was funny that these condors were like, fuck this woman in particular. Yeah, they're just eating dead animals, like dead rotting carcasses, and then shitting that vile nonsense onto this woman's porch. But you know what? It's her porch, and she doesn't seem bothered by it whatsoever. Why doesn't she, like, kill the condors? Are they, like, protected species? there's only like, 200 yeah, left yeah, in the world, yeah, and yeah. 20 of them are at her house. Am I, the only one, <laughs> am I the only one who just wouldn't give a fuck and would kill those condors and not tell anybody? You'd go back to jail. I wouldn't I tell think... anybody about the condor killing. Okay, well, then you'd probably be okay. Yeah. Actually, you'd have, to, you'd have to, like, go throw them off a cliff because they're all tagged. Let's They'd be like, hey, them. Ten, of them, 10 of them haven't moved. In <laughs> 10 of them stopped moving in this guy's furnace. What's that? So we weird. had a similar <laughs> issue, but they weren't condors. They were chimney sweeps, the opposite size of the coolness and, and size spectrum. But apparently chimney sweeps are, like, a thing. And they're, I don't know if they're endangered or what, because we had, I don't want to exaggerate, but, like, four. Is it called a chimney swift? Maybe sweep. it's, I said sweet, but it, I think it's swift. And we had maybe 400 of them living in my chimney. And we just moved into this house. And Jackie's like, what is the rumbling coming from the chimney? And I'm like, <laughs> once again, you're insane. You always think there's something wrong with the house. <laughs> once again, what other noises does she hear? <laughs> Every time there's like a crack in the drywall. I keep hearing someone speak Latin in the closet. <laughs> what, what, Woody, I was right about the porch bear. You know, <laughs> it's like, ah, a lucky guess about the porch bear. <laughs> what about the pool lizard? I told you about the pool There's it's a closet demon I told you about. That's not. <laughs> Every time there's like a crack in a drywall or, you know, like, you know, where like you put, there's two pieces of drywall, there's tape, you put mm -hmm. the, the mud over it, that drywall mud. And sometimes it cracks if it's thin or something or too thick. And it's like, this is just normal house settling, chillax. We're not like built on a swamp. It's fine. We're built on top of like a hill made out of granite. And she, anyway, so she hears the, the chimney rough, like rustling, vibrating. And uh, she's like, yeah, you know, there's, there's, there's something happening there. And I tell her that she's insane. That it's like I have to, enough of this. You stress over this house and it's fine. And uh, then I start hearing it. And I'm like, was that it? Was that it? And I think it's like the wind blowing over the top of the chimney. And uh -huh. causing it, like, like, like you blow over the top of The way you blow a, over a bottle. Or a pen, or, yeah, yeah, like a pen cap. Like that. that. Bottle's better, because it has the same sort of tone that mm. we're hearing. This, ooh. And uh, it turns out that that is the sound of 400 birds. <gasps> thanks. Flying out of your chimney. It's a little like that. But, like, flappier. And, uh... So there's... And then the odor comes from the chimney. 
Now, I guess these guys are seasonal, so it's not like it was there when we bought the house or anything, but, like, it, it shows up, and it smells like urine in our chimney. And it's like, oh, fuck. So I call an exterminator or something, and that was the wrong move. He's like, mm-hmm. you have to keep those birds for this long. Mm. You know, like, I can't come. Not, like, now that you've told me, like, I, I felt like I was on a register of some sort for these birds. And uh, it's like, fuck, you know, we've got this bird problem. And um, <laughs> can I ask a question? Yeah. You're in your fireplace, right? Right. Why not? Why not, you know, why not? use your fireplace? Just, yeah, why not just... As fire- intended to... Like, like, I know, I, I'd have solved this problem in <laughs> like, the it, amount it, of time minutes. it takes to start a fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had that idea. Like, I guarantee just, they wouldn't like that a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of... would left. I, I gave him a little time to leave, like a, a couple of weeks. And You're um, too gracious. Well, you don't know You're the end so of the story. You're so forgiving. <laughs> this, is, this is the same thing that happened with a contractor. If you set the contractor's trailer on fire, problem solved. Fire is almost always the, the, the answer to these sort of things. Like, well, like, I waited for them to leave, and then I capped the chimney. And uh, that solved most of the problems. Most of the birds were gone. And then the fire, which might have been like a. In hindsight, I should have gone in the other direction, right? Instead yeah. of like, like because what turned into a you trapped them, scare you them, them away alive. was more of an Auschwitz kind of solution. <laughs> so you you put a cap on it, and then you turn the fire on, and you just hear like tweet 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 tweet, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get like, ah, now the now the chimney smells yeah. like KFC. In my defense, there were only babies left in the chimney. So, they wouldn't have made it anyway. They have a terrible track record, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is a thing. And, and I guess, you know, they, they just sort of settled themselves. We took, uh, like, a, a broomstick and got all the things at the bottom that we could and just heated up, and now the chimney's fine. And it's capped, so they can't come back. I'd have started that fire immediately. I think and, that was and, the way to go. The, it would have been fun, too. It was a propane like, and, fire. I could have... Got it and the best part is, like, like I'd have gone an extra step. I'd have been, I'd have like, f- like filled the uh, the chimney with like propane gas for a while, and then lit it, and then <sighs> been outside to watch the fireball and like a little mushroom cloud that would come out. Oh, that would have been, been spectacular. Would have been lunch. <laughs> would have been lunch. I don't know what chimney sweeps taste like, but it, I mean, one way to find only, out. Only one way to find out. They're a North Carolina delicacy. Yeah, I don't want any protect if, if, any for, sort of fucking protected critters in my house they're they're gonna need protection they're going down like, like there's no, i'm not telling anybody <laughs> wiping them out yeah oh, these termites are the protected kind <laughs> like, what are you, get out of here they're endangered good 